used underwear, my most popular investigation ever. I'm sitting in an executive conference room at NBC World Headquarters in New York City. I'm wearing a suit, I take a deep breath, and I try to make strong, confident eye contact with some of the most senior people at the network. I want to buy women's underwear, I say, and then take the underwear home, and then I'll return the underwear and see if stores are reselling them. Silence. Okay, maybe I should back up. A while back, I was with my wife shopping for clothes. She picked up some underwear and showed them to me. I've always wondered if someone else tried these on before, she said. I said, you mean wore them and then returned them? Who knows what these clerks are doing and if they're putting it back on the rack. She didn't know if it happened, and I certainly didn't know. And then I realized that almost no one knew if customers could buy a pair of underwear, return it, only for the stores to slap a tag on it and resell it as new. Back in 2010, I met a woman named Tiffany Luxinger who told me this happens all the time. Okay, but what does she know? Well, she had worked at three different Victoria's Secret stores, and she pulled no punches. If a product comes back as returned, it obviously has an odor to it, Tiffany told me. We will put it on a hanger, hang it up to dry overnight, so the odor has time to come out of the product. We'll retag it and put it back on the sales floor. Wait, WTF? I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Were these just a few rogue Victoria's Secret stores, or was the problem widespread? This is why I humiliated myself in front of the execs at 30 Rock. We would deploy hidden cameras and hunt for the truth, no matter where the journey took us. (laughs) 